All right, welcome back to Coast to Coast Live, January 27th, 2024, Saturday. Broadcasting from an underground, nondescript location somewhere in the Himalayas. Prepper guy says, uh, grid is down, or maybe it might go down again, because it was down last week. So you better get your stuff, and get your gear, get your knowledge, get your stuff together. Get your shit together because when the grid goes down, you're going to need some supplies. And uh, this is just from some random prepper guy, not Canadian prepper guy. Um, you know, get your gear, get your knowledge, and get your shit together. Number two, hyperinflation. Dollar still down, gold still up. Yeah, might want to get yourself some precious metals. If you haven't thought about that yet, might need something to barter with if there's still anything to barter with after the grid goes down and, you know, you're looking for something to eat or something or whatever. Certainly not going to McDonald's. Um, invasion at the border in cities and pretty much everywhere. Sending out buses in every direction. People living in tents down at the police station, in the police station, in the schools, in the churches, um, pretty much anywhere that they can. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty much out of control. People freezing to death over the winter snap. I mean, it's, it's winter, folks. If you're going to sleep in a tent, you're going to need a fire. Pretty big fire. Okay? So... I mean, there's even people that froze in their house because, you know, power's out. So, you're going to need a fire whether you're in a house or a tent when it's that cold, below zero. And it gets that cold up here. So, if you're going to come up here from Mexico or Venezuela or China or wherever you're coming from, you know, don't come up here and sleep in a tent because you're going to wake up frozen in the wintertime. Alrighty, uh, on to number four, World War Three: Taiwan, North Korea, Russia, Iran, China, Israel, Yemen, Ukraine, uh, you know, Syria, pretty much Everybody at this point, NATO, you know, Sweden, Poland, everybody's jumping in, getting prepared here, moving stuff around, getting troops lined up and armored up. Um, it's it's, uh, it's kicking off over there. So meanwhile, we got, you know, potential civil war here with treasonous activity in Illinois and California and New York and New Mexico and Texas. And, you know, Texas wants to put up a fence. They've already got a fence up, you know, wiring and a barrier, and the government wants them to take it down. Why? I mean, we were just going to let people walk in? No security at all? I mean, you know, and then you got these politicians that are saying, some bozo in Illinois saying, hey, we should give them guns. We should put them in the military. Give them a job. Give them a gun. And, you know, if they're willing to go die for us, um, then, yeah, we should make them citizens. <laughs> what? Um, you might want to check your playbook there, buddy, because uh, I'm pretty sure that's treason. Arming the enemy, the illegals. <laughs> yeah, I understand our recruiting numbers are down, but they're not that far down. <laughs> I mean, what, what the hell are these people smoking out there? I mean, I thought I had the good stuff. Holy cow. Whew. I mean, seriously, though, you know? I mean, sorry, it's, it's taken me... I'm really having a hard time with that one. It's, you know, there's certain things where I, I'm maybe willing to just say, yeah, whatever, but no, 
this? I don't think so. I mean, they're so you got multiple states sending down troops to back up Texas on this. And, you know, the gov government's threatening Homeland Security. They're going to send Homeland Security in there. And, you know, what what are you guys talking about? I mean, it's it's freaking insanity. So you got Tennessee going down there. Volunteers, obviously. Tennessee's everywhere right now because there's treason everywhere. It's all over the place. You know, gun ban in Illinois, California, New, New York, New Mexico. Um, these people are insane. They're trying to in, just violate rights all over the place, make people get licenses that never show up that they can never get, um, deny people licenses that should be able to get them, and then just ban guns straight out, you know, that are already in use, that people already own. Um, hello? Hello? What in the hell are you people thinking? You know? I mean, seriously. <laughs> you know, I mean, some people have really got to be stupid to think that this is not going to just blow up in their face. So... Meanwhile, Indian country is uh, being affected down there. We want to shout out to the Apache Res is in New Mexico. And just to clarify, you know, as a, an Apache chief myself um, of New Mexico, yes, you're right. That me, Joe Schmogan, is a known Apache chief in New Mexico. Famous, as a matter of fact, too at least some of the other Apaches, you know, that recognize me as the chief. So, um, which there are Apaches on the reservation that recognize me as the chief. Some people think that that's not the case and that because I don't live on the reservation or that, um, you know, I'm not a full blood, that I'm not, like, known or whatever, but... I am. It's not right. <laughs> I mean, I got a Facebook group and everything with like over 2,000 members in it. So that's got to count for something, right? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah. So, you know, just to be clear, that whole New Mexico area, uh, you know, where my grandma was born in West Texas and New Mexico there, that's all Apache land. And a lot of the border there is actually either Comanche or Apache land because of the treaty issues. Because we didn't sign a treaty, um, it's still Indian territory. Just like in Oklahoma, they still have Indian territory there um, because it was never divvied up or whatever. Um... And so it's still Indian territory. And, um, you know, and here in New Mexico, not here, but there in New Mexico, you know, it's the same situation. It's still Indian territory because they never actually even signed a treaty. So Oklahoma is a little bit different, but um, similar in the fact that it's still Indian territory. And so is uh, New Mexico. And, um, a lot of Arizona and, you know, northern Mexico, Texas, West Texas. Um, so, yeah, you know, there a lot of people don't know that, you know, because it's Indian country. And unless you're an Indian, you know, you don't really care or know that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, you know. I've been invited to ceremonies down there and, um, you know, it's, it's a real, it's a real thing. The ceremonies are kind of a sacred invite, you know, you, you don't just get invited unless, you know, you're supposed to be there. So one of these days I'm going to get on down 
get on down there and bring my RV. Okay. So, uh, yeah, basically, that's about it for uh, my shout out to Indian Country. Now on to the top 10 music. Um, of course, Magic Caravan's still in the top uh, number one through four slots with uh, Magic Caravan Volume 2 is still number one. Uh, song of the Year, Rock Song of the Year. Number five, Moving in Stereo by the Cars. Cannons at six with Hurricane. Number seven, To Rule by Secrecy by me. Number eight, one Tree Hill by U2. Number nine, Candio, The Cars. Number ten, The Dead Heavies, Everybody in the Night. Number eleven, Future Selves, Feels Good to Be Home. Number twelve, Steve Miller Band, Fly Like an Eagle. And at thirteen, ZZ Top moves into the slot, My Head's in Mississippi. All right, thanks for tuning in to Coast to Coast Live. And uh, we'll have some more news for you just as soon as it kicks off. Over and out. Thank you.